Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can't ah, hey, we are, folks. We're in foggy London town. This is it. Tuesdays in the basement of a comedy club. I think it's a club. It's yeah. a coffee house club thing. 21 Soho. I got a story about it. I did a show here Thursday. Pack sold out. Tons of Tuesdays here. It was fantastic. We made it work. We got a couple guys on the ones and twos here. Last minute, it was an emergency situation. Oh, yeah. We got rehearsals up the ass. We had to find a place. We're in a basement. It feels like a bomb shelter down here. Yeah, it's a bomb shelter after that act of yours. Oh, but, whoa. hey, I got to say, we're doing this TV show out here. The whole thing was a huge mistake. We thought it was a free trip to London. It's a fucking gulag. They got us running on treadmills and writing jokes and uh, they're taking our whole time. You don't even know the half of it. I haven't what are you been there yet. About? I've just heard horror stories. You haven't looked at the notes. You haven't been there. I've been here, first of all, for nine days Jeez. right now. I'm on day ten yes. in London. I live here now. I got an accent. I got a, I got a, a broke? Bloke? What is that called? A brogue. A brogue. Uh, bloke is a guy, right? Yes. A bloke? Bloke, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm a bloke. A couple blokes. Is bloke bad? Smoke is that derogatory? Bloke. I don't think so. Is it? What I do think you... bloke is just like dude. Oh, okay, okay. A bloke. What about cunt? That's cunt on, is okay uh, here. That's on the fence. That's what everyone said, but I, I said cunt on stage, and people were still, like, a little weird. But maybe uh-huh. they know I'm American. That's why uh-huh. they were like... But I think cunt, you can do... Like, Luke Moniz, who I'm hanging out with, a great guy. Great funny guy, guy, funny guy. He's doing a bit. He's like, I'm saying cunt and cheers left and right. He's like, I think you can call babies cunts in this country. <laughs> I'm going to try it today. Cunt. Next time I see a kid breastfeed, I'm going, look at that cunt with the cunt. Yes, nice uh-huh. cunt. But anyway, we're here, and the show, I mean, it, it, I, I, I try to warn you. I haven't seen you pick up a pen yet. I, I haven't opened the file. I have, a, I have an attachment on my phone with all the materials on it. I haven't even opened it. I'm going to tell you right now, you're fucked. Uh, everyone, <laughs> tune in to the Great American Joke Off on the CW. Mark is going to, you're, you're totally fucked. You're going to be like stone cold stunned. I'm going to eat my asshole on stage. It's going to be ugly. It's all on TV. Tune in for it. But here's, here's how I look at it. I'm terrified. I'm dreading it. But it has to end. It has to end? Meaning I'm done on Sunday. Sunday will come and it'll be done. Yes, That's Sunday how I look at will it. come and so will my mother if my father fucks her right. But I also her. the day that everyone's watching the CW making a, a turkey of yourself. Ah, you're gonna, they're going to go, this it. guy blow. I mean, this Have is you what seen what's on the CW? It's trash. I've never seen it. I don't know it's what it is. It's trash heap. Chris Walsh, Charlie Wilson. Yes. Clown wig. Cunt. <laughs> Wiggle. Woo. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> there's two guys just staring at me. I'm I sorry. Know, yeah, we you guys swear, we say cunt, we hate oh ourselves. Boy. You always want to leave the room? No we'll matter take it from here. how much you guys hate us, you can't hate us more than we hate ourselves. Self-loathing over here. By the way, beautiful camera. This thing looks yes. like, it looks like, uh, not Mussolini, who's the... Uh, Mussolini? Fellini. Ah, Frederico. I confused them. Yes, yes, both the, both WAPs. Director, dictator, similar. The guy, the case is, is a is a sexy camera as well. Yeah, beautiful. You guys are all beautiful people. Thanks for having us. But so this TV show, I'm here in London. You got here a couple of days ago. And yeah. a, 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 a sight for sore asshole. You I too. mean, I was dying out here. I lo- I'm hanging out with Luke a lot. but Luke's good. Luke is good. The force be with you. But I mean, I am lonely. And I just wanted to blow you. I wanted to hug you and give your wife a noogie. I'm noogie. just dying out here. Let's have a threesome. Yeah, it's great. It's great to see you. And uh, the hotel they got us in. Woo-wee! I feel like Kevin McAllister. I'm jumping on the bed. I ordered a pizza. <laughs> I'm drinking Coke at night. We're it's staying at the Langham, boys. The, the Langham, Langham Come on. You know about the Langham? You Fellas. can't believe it. Google right. the Langham. It's yes. crazy. Beautiful. I mean. The queen stays there. Top hats. You know who was there, right? Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Oh, Lennon? Christian Bale. McCartney? When we got there, oh! Christian Bale was there. Oh, I'm bad, bad, bad. Hey, how about that? That's All fun. right, yeah, Bale's there. Uh, they change your sheets. Y- you brought your jacket in. Was that you? I was my jacket. Yeah. I had too many layers. I went in. I got. Pardon me. Pardon me. I had too many layers on. Uh, is right there something so. I could do about my jacket? And they said, "We'll fold it. We'll press it. We'll put it in your room." Press. Come I made on. it the press. The press says the, that was a lie. All right, that's off the presses. Press lies. But 
I did my laundry, by the way. 200 pounds. Hey! That's like my ex-wife. Six bucks a sock. Woo! 200 pounds. That's a lot of weight. They pressed my sweat. I'm wearing liquid death sweatpants. They pressed them. They were on a, a hanger. They gave you sweatpants? Hanger and the thing. No, they was not mine. I know. Well, where'd you get them? Oh, this is a birthday gift from my sister-in-law. Ah, wow. Radical sister. Perfect fit. Look at those things. It's like surge can. Holy hell. Him. What are you, skateboarding now? Oh. Um, uh, well, yeah. Let, let, let me get back to the beginning Okay, here. I got some stuff, too, in, in America to talk about. You want to go first? Besides the shooting. Yeah, no, you go. All right, well, anyway, so I arrived here, I, I, I don't even know, three moons ago. I mean, this was like, I've been here forever, a month. Yeah. Uh, Moon I, dance. I got here to the Langham Hotel, fly first class, Delta One. This TV show is really hooking us up. And yeah. It's the best. I slept the whole flight. Get here, Langham Hotel. They're wearing top hats with the tails. Welcome, sir. Sure, that was a. I don't know if that was British. Well, whatever. It was yeah. more like uh, monstery, but <laughs> beautiful hotel. You can't believe it. It's, it's unbelievable. Unreal. Uh, steam room, pool. The gym is amazing. The breakfast. The breakfast at the hotel is free, and it's the best thing I've had. Forget about it. It's, oh, I had food last night at some Turkish deli. I, I, I shit out a, a turkey bone. It well, was brutal. Well, speaking of turkey, let me get into my turkey All right, story. Gobble gobble. So I come here. I'll talk about some other stuff. But you, you said turkey, so I want to look nice for the party. The other white meat. Big TV show, we're doing the show, and I, my hair's a little scraggly, and right across, you know how much I love Ted Baker, I'm a Ted uh, Baker guy. Ah, yes, Baker's dozen. London, I went to Ted Baker, bought a jacket, I gotta tell that story too, I got a lot of stories. It's crazy <laughs> Good, here in London. Pun. So I go to get a haircut, Ted Baker has their own grooming place, it's Ted's Grooming. Wow, like with kids, where they, they grow them up and fuck them? Oh, no, different. I see. Slightly different. Okay. So, but similar. So I go there and ah. I say, I'll spend, a, I'll spend a penny, which means go to the bathroom here. Go right? again? Spend a penny? Spend a penny? You do that? You never heard Maybe of it. it's old school. My mother-in-law is from England, and they said spend a penny, because I think back in the 40s. Oh, it cost a penny. Pay it was a penny. So like she that. still says, I'm going to go spend a penny. Oh, well, we say drop a deuce. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> There's something with that. I think, I think spend a penny is urine. That's ah, interesting. That's old school I'm British, in. I think. I think the youngsters don't know spend a penny, I guess. All right, right, though. Anyway, so I'm going to get my hair cut. Nice place. And I guess it's a Turkish uh, barber or Turkish place. Uh huh. Turkish delight. So the guy washes my hair. He starts by washing my hair. You lean. F I haven't had my hair washed since I was 11. Sure, I've seen it. So he gets in there. I mean, I wash my own hair from time to time. All right. Prove, I lean in. You got to like it. sit like this. Uh huh. He washes my hair, scoops it up, sprays it, washes me. Then he cuts my hair. Very nice and haircut. Sharp. Very sharp. Thank you. I, mean, I got a little bedhead right now. The same. The truth be told. Yeah. So he, uh, he, oh. he cut. <laughs> Excuse me. Diet Coke here. Cuts my hair. And then he, uh, he gives me a shaves the neck with the razor. Oh, I love a neck raise. Does it around the corner. Then he says, Would you like me to take care of your ears? Your ear hair. Uh oh. And I, I go, like Yeah. I mean, first of all, I didn't know I had ear hair. Oh, I'm, you got I'm ear hurt. hair. Oh, you've hit me with your ear. Not anymore, I don't. All right. So I go, I guess so. And are you familiar with the Turkish style of taking out the ear hair? I'm not aware. This guy takes out a long stick about uh, the size of my dad's cock. I don't, this long. I don't like a Turkishman with a stick already, <laughs> so unless it's a kebab. Takes out a stick. Then he takes out a Bic lighter, not even a what? fancy lighter. A Bic? Like a blue, bought it at 7-Eleven lighter. A stick and a Bic. Lights the end of the stick on fire. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? Are the Railing Brothers? And then he Harry Potter. He goes like this. Wah! Ah! He whips the... Yeah. Have you guys had this? He whips my head with what? a fire. Like this. should be arrested. <laughs> like heat in my ear, Jerry. He's yeah. singed. He's like, I go, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my and he God, said, I'm, the heat. I'm singeing the hair off your ear. Oh, my God. And I go, you got to change this term. Because then what fucking planet does take care of mean burn with a fire? No, that's cuckoo. If I said, hey, go, you have a baby, go to work, I'll take care of the baby, you don't assume fire is involved. No. No, no nobody wants a kid in a fire. Fire? He fired me. He burned it off, like, and it, you could feel the heat. Wow. And he went to both sides, he goes, whoa. 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 And I think that's uh, customary in their, in their culture. Yikes. And, could you hear the tss? No, I don't think it's, I don't think my hairs are long enough to to tiss. Oh, okay. If you did my pubes, maybe. Sure, sure. Yeah, I could use some some fire on the pubes, fire crotch. But uh, fire I've, on the pubes, great novel. <laughs> 
But I get I get the ear here out to here. The lady always goes, hold on, hold on, bink, and you want to go, ah, you want to slap her in the teeth. Well, you got to singe, singe that shit. Maybe I'll singe. Turkey. Okay. I was a real turkey up there, but he singed. <laughs> then he washed my hair again, double wash. Double wash, that's overkill. And then he gave me some paste. He's like, you need paste. And he put paste, paste. all over his hands and he pasted me. I'm all pasty. Oh, that's semen. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Wow, Turkish. You should go back there and write a Yelp review, I think. It was quite an experience. Then he gave me the hot towel. He leaned me back. Oh, hot towel. I love a hot towel. Double wash, hot towel, ear hair singe, and then a uh, nice haircut. So go to Turkey for a haircut. Hell yeah. I think we should start describing good and bad things with hot Hot towel is amazing. You put a mm-hmm. hot towel on, hot laundry. Ah, uh, cold towel. You ever had a cold, wet towel? Oh. Oh. That's, that's the new good and bad. But it's all perspective. What about summertime? Summertime, nice, wet, cold towels. Uh, nice. You play a game of hoop, someone hands you a cold towel. Uh, that's not bad. Because I got cold towels at the gym that have, um, what's that thing? Not oregano. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Uh-huh. They give you the eucalyptus, cold, wet, and that's something. Yes. So That's all right, all right, all right. That's not bad. It's all situational. Yes. It's I all br- pipes. I told someone the other day about dry sock after a wet sock. I got to bring that back. Because someone was, was like, that's brilliant. Oh, really? Brilliant. Yeah, well, it was in England, so everything's ah, brilliant. everything's brilliant, yeah. I find everything is brilliant. 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 Yeah, it's fun. Brilliant is nice. I like that. Cheers is fun. The whole thing is a good time. Great show. Yes. All right, tell me what you have been up to, because I haven't seen you since 85. I've been here in London town. Sure. Well, I, I've got a saga for you. Remember the old days with the, the, the flights and the sagas and the bleeps and the bloops? Of course, old days. That was a couple weeks ago. All right, well, we got an old saga here. Now, buckle up, Fatty, because this, uh, this one is a honker. Okay, I'll try to paint a pick. Please do. Going to Oklahoma City. <laughs> Not bragging. Big gig at the uh, Bricktown Comedy Club, oh. Thursday to s- come back Sunday. Ooh. Oklahoma's a cum guzzler to get to. You got to oh, connect. Yeah. There's no chance of not <laughs> connecting. It's hell on earth. It's a weird town. It's a small airport. Shit kicking, boot licking, uh, cow riding cowboys. Boot licking I like, by the way. I'd love to lick a boot. Ugh. A leather with a point and a heel. Oof. Please, somebody Could- make me lick a boot. Make me come on it and lick it off. Could you suck the, the heel? No, like I don't want to suck the heel. I don't want that. All right, it's like right. a little tongue to leather, you know. You got a line. I get it. You'll yeah. cross that line. Okay. <laughs> He's got standards, this guy. So, uh, go on to Oklahoma City, 830 <laughs> flight. <laughs> 830 flight. We're bombing in the room. Oh, the room is bad. Yeah, bad sorry. vibe. Bad singe. We stink. So, uh, uh, eight thirty flight to go. Ah, that's a bitch. I'll get there at four. It's one of those things where you're like, ah, oh, it's like a nine hour travel day, and I'm going to Oklahoma City. What am I doing with my life? Eight thirty flight. I wake up at seven ish. You know, get, get your shit together, brush your teeth, jerk off, jizz on the wife while she's sleeping. Then get your bag together, and I go. Okay, now I get my customary Uber to the uh, Newark airport. Beep boop boop boop. boop. Hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, I go. Come on, well, that's over here. That seems a little high. Yeah. I don't know. Let me let me check lift. That's my big move. I go to <laughs> go to the competitor. Right. Beep, boop, beep, boop. I think they're in cahoots. These two. I believe so. Yeah. Ah. I don't know if cahoots, but I think they're. I and the other one. They're in sync. It's not cahoots. It's like caputs. Oh, oh I see. They're oh, in kaputs. sync. There's cahoots and caputs. Uh, caputs and then there's caputs. Right. And, and then, then there's, there's Kabul. Kabul. I know it was Kabul for years, and then it became Kabul. Well, I live in Kabul Hill. But, uh, so, cobblestone, so, uh... Cobblestone throat. Aha! Uh-huh. Mm. Silent re. So, <laughs> I get, uh, I get the, I go, all right, you know what? Fuck Lyft, fuck Uber, I'm going yellow cab. I'm beating the system. Good luck. Well, that's the clinker. So, I look outside, pouring rain. That's why it's so expensive. Uh, the, the surge. Rain. Yep. The demand goes up, the price goes up. That's sure. economics. So I go outside. I'm like a wet cat. I'm in the rain. I got a tiny umbrella like uh, Wile E. Coyote. I got my bag here. I got bedhead. It's morning. And I'm just waiting out there. You know, cab, cab. Nobody's going by. Then you see a cab, and it's got a lady in it. She goes, ah, ah bitch, fuck you. I got it. Right. You go, ah. Now, what about Curb? You got Curb? I don't have Curb, but I, I was so desperate, I started downloading Curb. Yeah, I know that move. Good show. So uh, I go, all right, all right. What am I going to do here? Now I got to make a decision. I'm going to be late. I'm going to miss my flight at this point. Like, I still got to get to the airport. So uh, I get back on Lyft and I go, I'm just going to do it. Boop. $160 now. It went up. Ah. So I'm like, God damn it. What am I doing with my life? Right then, 
Yellow cab. Woohoo! Grab him. Oh. Now, how about this? I'm not playing any games with this cab. So I go, You good? He goes, Get in here. And I leave my bag on the sidewalk. And I get in the cab. I sit down and I go, Newark Airport. He goes, Oh, I'm not going to Newark. I'm like, I'm already in. I'm already in. He's trying to pull that shit. Old school. Yes, which is illegal. By so, the way, this is part of the reason you feel bad for the yellow cab. I wish the yellow cabs were there because yeah. they make the city safer, first of all. You think? Absolutely, of course. you can get away. Well, there used to be yellow cabs constantly all hours of the night. All and hours. if there was that, you could always grab a cab. Mm-hmm. Now you're very isolated. Late at night, uh, in the village, there's nobody around. Yeah, you're a sitting duck waiting for that three minutes. There used to be 30 cabs going. You go, oh, what's up, cab? Excuse me. Good point. Great point. He has a point. So... A guy goes, ah, no, I don't know, man. I go, I gotta go. I'm gonna miss my flight. And he goes, all right, fine. So I jump out, grab my bag, and jump back in and slam the door. So now we're off to Newark, and I'm I'm pushing it. You know, this this rain <sighs> thing, this Lyft Uber thing, really fucked me. I get there on time. This guy's it's in the van too, and he's woo woo. It's like the A team. Mm-hmm. So we get to Newark, and he goes, what terminal? I go, oh shit, hold on, let me check the boarding pass. Laguardia. Oh, come uh, on! I went to the wrong airport! Come on! I never looked! I went off muscle memory in the rain and threw me off! Get the assistant! Ah, Alec Baldwin's guy! You I got suck. Alec Baldwin's assistant! I suck. He shot the lady in the face! His assistant ah, is good! He ah. keeps emailing! He's a good guy! He's sweet! I love you, Bill, Steve, Bob, Ricky, whatever the hell your name is! That's, he wants to be your assistant! I know! I need him! I need him to just pick me up and drive me! I, I, fuck the assistant! Fuck the paperwork! I need on demand! I need a car! No, your assistant sets this up! You don't even have to know about it. You just go get in the car. Your assistant says, I'll pick you up. I don't have an assistant, by the way. It makes it sound like I have an assistant. I've just worked with a guy who has an assistant. You just go, hey, oh my god, 5 p.m. pickup. You, you yeah. go down there, you get in the car. Assistant. You got get an, the assistant. You have the money. You got an ass, you got an assist, and you got an aunt. That's true. Uh-huh. Put it all together. But I okay. say aunt, but... Ah. Uh, some people say auntie. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's strange. That's like people that say mommy. Uh, my mommy. You know, like, what are you, nine? You know what's not bad is ma. That's an old attack. Hey, Ma. Ma. Yeah, I say Ma. Ma's not bad. Uh Hey, hey, folks. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. Look. You know me and the the list meister. We love the therapy. We got a we got Al. You got to do it. It's imperative. It's important. It's uh it's a game changer, you know? Everybody's dealing with something. Everybody's going through it, including you. Even when I say you're going through something, something popped into your brain and going you went, "Oh, that gosh darn thing. It's killing me. It's tearing me apart." Ah! Get the therapy. Try it out. It's fresh from home. Come on. How bad could it be? Easy peasy. We associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Most things in life can lead us to feel burned out, and BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. Therapy has helped me because you, you, you're not perfect. Everybody's flawed. Look, your parents are kooks. Maybe your parents walked out. Whatever it is, figure out what your thing is, who you are, and how to deal with it. I think it's important. It'll be a better life. Better help is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched up with a therapist in under 48 hours. Tuesdays with Stories listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Tuesdays. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Tuesdays. Hey, hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Blue Chew. There's nothing sexier than confidence, and Blue Chew can give you the confidence where it counts. That is true. I mean, we've all had a little, uh, you know, deflation downtown, and the worst is when you're anticipating it, because then it could really happen. It's all mental, folks. So why not keep a nice, good old, trusty Blue Chew right in the... uh, Right in the little uh, weirdo pocket there, that little mini-me pocket, whatever that Brad Williams pocket, right on top of the pocket of the jeans. 
keep one in there. Pop it about a half hour before, just in case, you know, when you know you're about to do the down and dirty, uh, what do you call that, the old uh, horizontal polka. And, uh, yeah, get it get it going. Why not? Just be prepared, as the Cub Scouts would say. Just don't use it on them. Blue Chew's tablets offer the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form. Even better, you can get it, get it in your system quick. If you don't like swallowing pills, this is for you. Since Blue Chew is an online prescription service, there's no doctor's office or waiting in line. Talk to a licensed medical provider and get a prescription all online. It works fast, so you can be ready whenever the opportunity arises. So, if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners, folks. Blue Chew free. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code TUESDAYS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code TUESDAYS, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the show. Yeehaw. Yo, yo, ma. So, uh... Okay, now I'm at the wrong airport, and I was already barely going to make it. So, so you missed the flight. I missed the no flight. chance. Flight's out. No chance. And there's only so many flights going to OKC. So I go, oh, and, and now the, appalling. I got to say, the driver was very empathetic. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It was more like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. But he was like, I'm sorry, man. That's tough. And I was like, I don't know what to do. He goes, well. You can get a flight from there to somewhere. That's the thing. So I pulled that old, uh, what's that guy's name? That Italian comic. Houdini. No, the comic. Uh, Maniscalco. The other one. Pete Corielli. Oh, I love Corielli. He's got that bit. You know, one flight to whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. <laughs> great. I'll be on the next flight out yes, after yes. seven business days. Right, right. So I just go up to the desk defeated. I, I'm already wet. I'm already cabbed uh, out. I go up to the thing, and I go, uh, one flight to Oklahoma City. The lady goes, <laughs> you know, she's tick, 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 tick. She goes, uh, $900. And I go, all right, give it to me. Delta flight, not bad. Delta flight. Go in the lounge. I got an hour and a half to kill. I'm just like, oh, it's a $900 mistake just by not reading the ticket. $900 mistake, but Brutal. I eat it. Now, I can eat you it. Call the, you should be able to call the other one and say, I'm not going to make it and get a credit. At that, I mean, it, it's boarding. As long as it hasn't taken off, you're okay. Really? Yeah. yeah I should have done okay that. You're okay, see. Uh-huh. So I go, ah, and I just, I'm eating the eggs in there. I'm drinking the car. I'm just trying to mooch as much of that 900 back ah, as I eggs. can. Yeah, I remember yeah. doing that. Yeah, the eggs. So I get on the fucking Delta flight. I'm in the back because I booked it so late. I'm, I'm in the toilet at this point. You know, I'm <laughs> sitting on the shitter reading the, the Daily Bugle. And I'm like, Portland yeah, Daily Bugle. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Get to OKC. I'm defeated. I hate myself. I just, that 900 is looming. Oh. We do the shows. The shows are great. I got Alec Parent there. I got Neil Rubenstein. I got Dayton Bissett. I got all these fun guys. We're hanging out. We're I love Dayton Bissett. He's a cute kid. Yeah, he's like 11. He's I know. sweet. He's, he's got like a milk mustache. Yes. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's got gay. A, sl- a slingshot, a hat with a <laughs> propeller on it, a big lollipop. I bet he weighs 107 pounds. Oh, yeah. He's a twink. I like a guy I could just beat up. I could just really oh. beat the shit out of him if I had to. You know? Yeah. You There's could... only like six people out there. <laughs> you could take that kid's lunch money in a second. So uh, we just have a great time. And shows, shows, shows. Now here's where it gets hairy. Oh, it hasn't been hairy yet. Harry and the Hendersons. You oh, need yeah. a fireball. I know. I could have used a singe. So uh, now I'm going back to New York. The weekend's over. Whatever. The nine hundred dollars. I sold merch. I, I got it back. Whatever. Sure. And the flight is at six a.m. Because you just want to get back. It's a nightmare, but you just want to get back. Get back to where you once belonged. Get back, Loretta. Yeah. British. Beatles. Liverpool. Not from London. I got that right. All right. So working class. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, all right. <laughs> so now I'm back at the airport. Four, 4.30 pickup. You know, get to the airport at 5. The whole rigmarole. And uh, I get there. And, you know, I'm trying to check in. Sure. Doing the check in. Unavailable. Don't tell me you're at the wrong airport again. Unavailable. Uh, error, error. I go, ah, it's probably one of the things you get to the gate, you know, sea agent. Oh, my God. Yeah, she was a C, all right. So I get up there and I go, hey, it says uh, C agent. And she goes, oh, okay. And it, it's jumping in there. I don't know why, but it's fucking 5 a.m., 4.40 a.m., whatever it is, and it's packed. People want to get out. They want to get out of OKC. 
So I go, uh, hey, see agent? And she goes, yeah, hold on. She goes, oh, yeah, you're not on this flight. And I go, whoa, 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 dickless bitch. I've been uh, booked. I've been paid. I got receipts. I show her the receipt. Hey, look at that receipt. And she goes, let me get my manager. Never good. Yeah. Goes get the manager. She's got a. She's eating a fucking jelly donut. She's got her face covered in white powder. She's like, mm, yeah, you know, she's doing this shit. Hold on there. Hold on. She goes, uh, you got, they got a contract out. And I go, contract? What am I, a hitman? What are you talking about? She goes, if you miss the first flight, it's in the contract that you lose the second one back. Oh, this is the same flight. Have you heard of it? Yeah, it's the yes. same. Yes. No, that's the deal. Is that the deal? That's the deal. What? Well, here's, okay, if that's the deal, let me know. Like, call me and go, hey, just check in. Just let you right. know you're, you're not getting the next flight. It's like a package. It's a package. Yes. Decent package. So I go, well, I have a contract. This is where I, I you see some movies, and you, you just <laughs> turn it on them. I go, well, I have a contract. When I pay for a flight, you, you give me the flight. And she was like, ah, it's a contract. I go, I got a contract. Now we're contracting. She's I, a contract. I think they're like, you fucked us. Because we had a seat that we reserved for you that we could have sold, you piece of shit. I know, but I think they assume, well, if you missed the flight, you're not even here. Right. You, why would we assume you buy another one? Which I get, but I'm like, you could have told me I don't have the flight. That's all I wanted to, that's what I was conveying. Right. And she goes, I understand. So she was, she was nice enough, but she's like, you got to call this number. And I'm like... But I'm talking to you. I already got a number. I'm, I'm with the, a human. This is why you had to call originally and call them and say, I'm going to miss I this know, flight. Because then know. they that's that's when they say, you blew off the flight. You expect them to call and say, hey, you fucked us. You bought a ticket and didn't use it. So right. we couldn't sell that ticket. But we want to let you know. If you had called. I thought they would call me or no, text me you or had email to call me. Them. That's what they thought about you. Well, You're now them. I'm them. You switched. Assumption is the mother of all fuck ups. Yes. Or whatever the hell. The bridge over I the river quad. Something in the Bible. Yeah, so now I'm pissed. So I'm on hold. And I go, all right, I can't I can't not leave this airport. I'm not going back. I'm not going back to OKC. No, you can't. It's a fine place. I just don't want to live there. Thunder. So I go, uh, okay, let me check Delta again. Now here's another 900 bucks. Delta, $1,800 flight out to New York City. And I go, I will not pay that. That's, that's egregious. Mm-hmm. So then I go, beep, boop, boop, American. One seat left. Board's in an hour and a half. Five hundred dollars. I'll take it. Okay. I'll okay. take it. Hey, so American. now, just just for the just let me put my green visor on. <laughs> you know, let me do the whole thing. That's a nine hundred dollar flight from Delta, plus the original eight hundred for the round trip oh. that I missed. So now what do we have? Seventeen. Seventeen plus the five. That's twenty three. Twenty two. Twenty two hundred bones were down. Not to mention the. Fl- the drive to the airport and all that. <sighs> so we're we're, we're cooking about twenty three hundo here. <sighs> yeah, that's that's a pretty penny, uh, or as you guys would say, uh, a toilet. Uh, yes, yeah, a, a penny, a urine. Yeah. So I go, give me the five hundred. The lady, it's so nice when it, it. The lady's nice. I go to the American thing, and she just goes, "Oh yeah, okay, you want that one? Five here's a credit card. You got it." And you're like, "Oh wow, that was so easy. It's like shocking." Love a nice lady. Uh, Heidi was her name. I'll never forget. Hey Heidi. Oh, yeah. Probably listening. Let's hope. She was cute, too. So, uh, Which is rare at 5 in the morning. You rarely see hot people at 5 a.m. No, they don't have to get up. They don't. And rarely working as well. If you do, maybe they're doing a walk of shame or something. By the way, I got a top secret comedy club every night. We'll get into that later. Sure. Every single man and woman. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous, sexy people here. Good looking people in London. Yeah, you don't hear that uh, a lot, but I think it's I think it's on the DL. Ah. Uh, they got hot, beautiful people here. Yeah. Something London shit. There you go. Damn. What? I thought I had something. Funden? London? It's on the DL. I thought I could have, like, something Dirty London. Dirty London. Dirty London. Delightful okay. London. All right. Uh, do, do, De- douche. Down the fuck. Douchery. All right. London. So, get the American flight, uh, and I, I've been on hold the whole time. Literally an hour and a half on hold. I go through security. I put my phone in my pocket. I put it in the bin. It's all. It's just going... Do, 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 do. Wait, your call is important to us. Right. Don't leave. We're, we're going to talk to you. I swear to God. Uh, do, don't do, do. they have the option, though? They'll call you back? I don't trust the call back. Oh, that's, you're out of your mind. Well, I it's knew good. I had shit Again, to do this, anyway. This is all insane. I had shit to do anyway, but hang tight, fatty, because it works out. Oh, I'm giving it away. So now I'm waiting to board the American, and I got like a half hour, and I'm just, I got the earbuds. I'm in psycho mode. I got the earbuds in, do, 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 because I'm like, they're going to call, and I'm going to be ready. 
and I'm shopping. I'm stealing from Hudson News. You know, I'm doing my pit, pickpocket thing. And uh, do do do. Hello. Oh my God! They answered. My flight is boarding now. And I go, okay. I got about twelve minutes from when I have to get on that plane to me yelling at this guy. So I got some time. And I go, they go group group one. And I'm like, I'm just gonna wait. And I'm gonna board last. And I'm gonna yell at this guy. So I'm on the phone with this guy. And I just tell him the whole thing. And I go, I want a refund. Blah blah blah. And he goes, Sir, contract con. And I go, ah, I fly every weekend. I'm platinum. I'm gay. All this shit. And he goes. I don't know, sir. And I go, I'm going to London next week on United. How do you like, maybe I'll cancel that one. How do you like that? Maybe I'll cancel that puppy. And he goes, oh, really? And I go, yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, all right, we'll refund you. So it worked. Interesting. So now we're at 2200 Take 800 off of that. Okay. 22 minus 14. 800. I think that's 14. Okay. So I'm at 14. Still high. Yes. But... Better. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So I got the money back and I got to go back to New York. All right. There you go. Sorry, everybody. No, that's good. That is quite a tale. And the flights, by the way, these days are just, it's insane. It's wild. I didn't want to tell you about my San Francisco. Please. June 9th through the 11th, I'll be there. You got to come. If you're anywhere yes. within 100 miles of San Francisco, come to, uh, what's it called? Punchline. Yes. Because these flights, as, as you've heard, it's on the news, whatever it is, baby formula, yeah, Biden or Monkey Putin, box. whatever the fuck's going on. The yeah. flights cost $8 million. I don't know what's going on. Recession, this business, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. million yeah. dollars for a flight. I look up San Francisco flights Ugh. for Maine cabin, Delta Maine. Oh, Maine is no, bad. No comfort plus left. Bad all state. taken. Maine cabin, $790. Wow. And that's one way. Wow. I'm booking one way because I'm going to Vancouver. It's a whole thing. That's 790 a, for main cabin. That's a wet sock. So you know what I did? I had all these unused tickets from COVID still. Ah. And I had to change some flights around. I, Austin got canceled. I had a bunch of unused. I went to the first class, Delta One. Whoa. $2,300. I had seven hundred dollars in unused okay. tickets. Now we're down to what? Sixteen? Twenty-three minus sixteen hundred. Okay. Still. I high. went for it. I spent sixteen hundred dollars on a one-way wow. ticket. And I'm gambling that I'm like, hopefully I'll cross into a percentage deal and make some of this money. I think money. you will. I think I think we're okay in SF. The gays. We're di- taken care of here in London. So I'm kind of like, I, I just I don't want to sit in main cabin. Yeah. And it's only I mean, I think it's almost a full thousand dollars more, but a cross country flight eight in the morning. I just went for it. I respect it. I'm like that guy now. And I'm like, I'm gambling because I'm like, I'm hoping I'll make the money back. Plus they give you like 500 for the flight. And my manager was oh, like, true. she's like, I'll send the receipt and try to get the money back. Uh-huh. I was like, don't ask the club for $2,000. No, That's insane. Yeah. Who are you, Diana Ross? Exactly. So uh, I'm gambling on San Fran. I need you to come. Buy a ticket, yes, please. Sell that love bitch out. Tits, Christ on but Christmas. It shows the difference between me and you. I go through a, uh, a gauntlet and a phone call and a chew out and a whatever and a manager with a jelly donut, and you're going with, I'll just buy that. And I'll we ended up at the same price. Uh, oh, yeah, well, we'll see. I mean, well, you missed the flight. You broke <laughs> I, the contract. I didn't know it was a contract. You it's buy insane. a ticket, you hope to get the ticket. The ticket is a contract. Oh, money's a contract. Oh. I gave him money. What's that word? It's a construct. What does that mean? Gender. It's a construct. I don't know what that means. But people say money is a construct, a social con. Is that the right word? It is, but it's fake. It's made up. It's like right, we, so we just, just go, here's it. paper. Yeah, it's so weird. It's meaningless. It's like diamonds. Why are diamonds worth it? They just pretty. But at least in England, this money is a different size. Like the 20s, slightly bigger than the five. That's clever. I like that. It's weird. That, <laughs> that makes more sense. It's very strange well, that you're like, this is worth $100. Well, you think about it, you, it's like that old Chris Rock joke. Stevie Wonder doesn't know if he's got 20s or ones. Oh, if yeah. you're blind, it's just paper. Yeah, it's very strange. It's, it should be different sizes. And then you just have an app now that says like, I got $12,000 right well, here. That's even it's crazier. Just a, it's just a number on an app. Yeah. How about the first time you heard li- <laughs> liquid? That's liquid. I'm like, liquid? How did we get the liquid? I remember the first time I tasted it. It was out of my mother's twat. 
We'll let that sit. Hey, we broke them. Hallelujah. A smile. A little silence did it. Okay. Uh, Hallelujah. um, Praise Allah. I mean, I got so much to get to here. (laughs) Sorry, I hogged with the saga. No hog. That was great. I like a hog right in my asshole. That was fantastic. High on the hog. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hog heaven. (laughs) Hog pit. Remember the hog pit? Oh, the hog pit. Yeah, yeah. That was a barbecue joint slash open mic that That used to run. Show. We tried to make it like a show, but it was so bad. We had to just make it an open mic. Yeah, that was tough. It was also at four in the morning it started. <laughs> I think it would go long. And I'm just a guy. I'm still like, anyone that shows up, I'm like, you want to go on? Yeah, you go on. That's kind of how top secret is. Yeah. Top secret. Rules. I love this comedy club. We'll get into that in a second. Here, here. I, I don't even know where to start, but I got to tell my uh, Cuccinelli, Cuccinelli story. Cuccinelli. Lay it on me. Okay. So I get here to London. We're doing this TV show. It's very exciting. I got a lot of time here. I've been walking everywhere. 25,000 steps a day, 10 miles, 11 miles, 12 miles. Plus I've been running. I've been running three and then walking nine. Very fun, exciting. Jeez, he's still running. Love, oh, I love a good run. How do you like that? What are you running from? Love this city. I'm running from everything, mostly my mother's tits, but I love this city, and it's been amazing weather before you got here. It was like ah, 72 and sunny, that's which is what I hear. when it's London, you gotta be like, you gotta put on your shorts and just stay outside. You gotta I was go. just sitting outside. Yes. Had a cigar, talked to a nice Dutchman. There's a Ooh, cigar. We gotta go have a cigar. I love a Dutchman. Let's do it. Let's get a we stick. Have time, though. I know this show is ruining our lives, it but they really did fly is. us out here and put us in the nice hotel on the planet. It really is. Fuck. I was I, telling the producer, by the way, I was like, I'm having the time of my life. I'm walking. It's beautiful. And he's like, you are writing, right? Oh. And I was like, sure I am. Yeah, I haven't looked at <laughs> You're fucked. What I'm are you going to say? Uh, oh, uh, something about a Dutchman, a cigar. Ah, I lost it. Weather time. Shit. Sorry. Oh, I got it back. Wouldn't you rather? Now, this is where I might lose you. Hmm. I would rather take a coach flight here and stay in a Holiday Inn Express and have no work than stay in the Langham and fly first class and have tons of work on your shoulders. No, you're out of your mind. That's Uh, crazy. I'm telling you. Because you're outside anyway. You're talking to a Dutchman. That's crazy. All right. No, first of all, the flying first class here... I had no jet lag whatsoever. I went to bed at the time I go to bed, slept, came here. I had nothing. I know. Me too. It's wild that we pulled that off. I've come to Europe and been suicidal from uh, jet lag. But no, that was great. The hotel is so nice. The free breakfast is so nice. So nice. It's just amazing. The steam room's amazing. The location's amazing. Yeah. We're staying in Mayfair. It's like it's just gorgeous and, and it's wonderful. Pretty spectacular. I feel like a wealth. I feel like I'm a wealthy man. And they treat you with such uh, respect and class. It's very strong. I'm used to getting spit on. It's it's crazy. So anyway, so I get here. We got the TV oh show thing. Uh, but I, I decide I'm gonna go shopping because they want you got to dress nice for the TV show. Oh really? I want to look nice for the party. <laughs> So I'm like, I'll go to Ted Bay. And this is, we're in the shopping capital of the world. This is Mayfair in London. It's just everything. Uh, Hugo Boss, Ted Baker, uh, you know, all the other Chanel, shit. Chanel, uh, yeah. Burberry. All the stuff. Every store. Just lines of straight. And it's been that way for 200 years. This I is where it. you come to get a suit. All over the world. This is the suit place. Suit supply. So I go over to Ted Baker. I shop around. I grab a little jacket, you know, spend a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. A nice amount of money. Then I'm like, I, I still need another jacket and shirt. I need some options. So I'm walking down the street. I go into a nice men's shop. I walk in. There's nobody in there. Shop with an E. Couple of, uh, and two Ps. Thank you. So there's like two guys in suits, sexy men, just uh, like an Italian, like uh, Italian looking, British, uh-huh. whatever accent. And I, I start looking around. They go, can you help me? And I go, this jacket's really nice. I grab a tag. Says 350 pounds. I'm like, I'd, I'd like to try this on. The guy puts it on me, you know. Oh, I love that. Perfect. <laughs> Gee whiz. It's Diet Coke, fellas. <laughs> guy puts it on me. Fits nice. I try a large, try a medium. There's a mirror. He's like standing behind me, touching the jacket. I love attention like that. Ah, oh, touch me, baby. He's pulling on the elbow and the thing. Oh, and he's, I love he's the ex- elbow. Explaining why it fits, and then they offer me whiskey. He's like, "Do you want a whiskey?" Ooh. There's like several whiskey. And I'm not talking Jack Daniels. I'm talking like scotch. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, 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 beautiful glass. The whole thing. Ooh, glass. They give you glass. <laughs> That's pretty good. But it's like a nice glass. It's not like you know. It's, Jesus, I keep hitting the mic. I'm sorry. Are you a medium or because you're svelte? But you're tall. The arms. I gotta the lift arms. the arm. And the arms just. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm the I'm the opposite. I get the the foreskin coming off. The right. Arm. 
Well, whatever. I, don't know, I think it was a medium. <laughs> Circumcised my I sleeve. I put it on. I feel great. I said, well, I'm going to need a T-shirt because every T-shirt I have has a Boston Bruins logo on it. I'm, I'm like a piece of shit, white trash. I have no <laughs> shirts that don't have a fucking Bruins meth bear on it. Yeah, yeah. So I go, hey, I got to need a T-shirt. And the guy goes, I'll be right back. He leaves. He goes. To, I don't know where the hell he goes. I think he went back to Sicily or whatever. Yeah, sure. He deported. Comes back 25 minutes later. And this guy's dry. I mean, he looks like. The, the vest. Uh, it's amazing. He looks yeah. like Patrice Bergeron. His hair's all cut and tight. He's uh, uh, gorgeous. Singe. He comes back. <laughs> he comes back. <laughs> Ooh, Turkish. He comes back, and he's got a T-shirt. He's got two T-shirts. One's white with, like, some kind of cursive. I can't read it. I'm an idiot. Uh-huh. And he's got that and a black T-shirt, which is what I want. I put on the T-shirt. It's it's nice. It feels good, you know? I put it on. I put on the j- I got a photo of it. I'll send I'll put it on the Patreon. Patreon. I look, I look like the money, like the bomb. Oh, yeah. So I said, you got me. Sold. Print it. Take it. Fold it. Press it. I, I'm pumped. I'm like, I'm going to send a few hundred bucks. What do I give a shit? I'm staying at the fucking Langham. You got that right. Doing TV. So I say, great. And he folds it up. He puts a little piece of tissue in there for oh, some reason. Oh, I love tissue. Wipe my ass. He folds it, folds up the other shirt. He's uh, There's an app. I got to fill it out. I'm putting my like, social security in there, my height, my dick size, my asshole weight. I mean, he's, I got to put everything in there. <laughs> How much does your asshole weigh? That's what <laughs> I want to know. A couple pounds. Spend uh, a penny. Okay. So <laughs> he puts big deuce. <laughs> he's got all my all my info. Uh, I, this is like, I'm not kidding. I was there for 40 minutes. And I'm pumped. I'm like, I can't wait. I'm sending photos to, uh, you know, my sister-in-law. Sarah's not awake yet. He goes, ba ba ba, boop ba boop, skibbity bing. All right, that will be twenty eight hundred. Twenty eight hundred pounds. That's like a flight to Oklahoma City. Twenty eight hundred pounds. So what's, so what's that? Thirty five hundo americano. It's something like that. Three thousand. I I fainted. I was like, ooh. I was like, I was at a Michael Jackson concert in eighty seven. We got the vapors. I fell and they pulled me over the railing. They gave me smelling salts. Uh, twenty eight hundred pounds. Woo-wee. I could buy a home for that. You got that right in Oklahoma. I mean, I literally. Oklahoma. It was like a movie. I was, uh, I was like, uh, 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 excuse me, what, what is it, 2,800? Right. And he's like, yep, and they must have known the whole time. Of course. I'm wearing a Gap hoodie and liquid death sweatpants <laughs> and New Balance State. The whole time they must have been like, this guy is fucking stupid. He has no idea. He's a rook. We got him. We got a chump here. <laughs> when I checked the tag, it was the sweatshirt underneath the jacket or the T-shirt underneath the jacket. That uh, was 350 Wait, so how, how do you get that high up? Where's the tally? Well, the... I asked. Okay. I said, Daryl Tally. I said, what, what's <laughs> the... Uh, <laughs> I, I said, I would have rather work the Taliban. Sure, I said, they're I, cheap. I go, what's the breakdown? The t-shirt, are you ready for this? <laughs> Hit me with it, fatty. Black t-shirt. All right, easy. 280 pounds. Wow, that's a high price t. T-shirt. T-shirt. Some Malaysian kid made that. 280. This wow. shirt costs 30 bucks and it's like a Bruins, uh, you know, fucking whatever. Same shit. Same shit. Same thing. Cotton. Minus the bear. I like the bear. Love the bear. Gotta love a bear. Yeah, bear necessities. Revenant. Yeah. So uh, it's a $280 black T-shirt. Unreal. I said, can I check my emails on this thing, folks? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> This should come with a compass. Yeah. <laughs> 280 bucks. It should come with a Civic, a Honda. <laughs> this is bananas. So then I said, so the jacket is how much? And he goes, bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, yeah, 2500 2500 Oh, that's what it was, the $2,500 for a jacket. It's like a Ted Baker. Like a like bomber. A, a jacket, yes. I'll show you the photo right now. Please, I can't wait to see this this uh, magical jacket. Is it made out of gold bouillon? This it was is bananas. It was quite a jacket. I got to find. I sent it to Vicky, my sister in law. Ah. And I, I mean, here it is. Here's the jacket and the tea. Whoa, it's white. Nice jacket. No, it's gray. It's the lighting. Oh, it's I don't gray. know. Can, can we I, see that? I'll put it on the thing. I got to tell you, I think you probably he, can't see it. Don't I think worry did about you a it. favor. It's a little too light. That doesn't work with you. Yeah, it's a little light. She said, and my sister in law said that there's more options with a darker jacket. I she agree. She said, go to Paul Smith. <laughs> and then I got this nice jacket. Same shirt. I've been wearing the same shirt. That's not bad. It's like more like a rain jacket type of thing, it's, whatever. Yeah, a little more standard <laughs> issue. 2800 And they almost had me. And I had to do the thing of like, I started shaking. I'm like, uh, let me, uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, I think, uh, 
let me think about it. Uh, and I almost bought it out of embarrassment. Sure, sure. I, I would have done it. Sure, just run it. But yeah. I was like, I could fly home first class and then back. You're right. You're right. You did the right thing. That ain't easy. That that whole wind up. I had a similar thing with a with a Chinese tailor once. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of tailors from China, but I this, think there are. Well, I made the name. What? Taylor. Oh, Taylor. Yeah, I see. That I was a you. stretch. But I see. So was he. T A Y L O R. Thank you. Hey, Tuesdays of Stories is brought to you by Displate. Looking for something different to cover up that hole in your wall? Well, Displate is the cool new metal poster you'll want in every room. They have millions of cool designs available featuring gaming, movies, comics, anime, with officially licensed. Designed from Star Wars, Netflix, and many more. We got a couple over here at my place. I thought the lady would hate them, but they look so good. It's that metallic tin kind of material. It looks sexy. It's slick. It's sleek. And, uh, you know, I got a couple of... I got a Rodney Dangerfield. I got a Norm MacDonald. I'm going all in. You're talking to the biggest comedy nerd on the planet. Get yourself a Goodfellas, a Scarface, whatever the hell you're into, anime. I don't know anything about that stuff. I'm not a virgin. It only takes 20 seconds to hang them up with no power tools, no damages, and no frustrations. And once you mount one, you can switch out a new plate in a flash. And with every one that you buy, this plate will plant a tree. Woo! How do you like that? So, click the link in our description to see our favorite displays and get our special discount 27% off up to two displays or 34% off three or more displays. Interesting choices of the number there. Discounts will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link or use code TUESDAYS when you visit displate.com. It's an amazing deal and only available for a limited time. Get on it, folks. Isn't it weird the names should come from jobs? Is that right? Wow, well, Taylor. Hmm. Hold on. There's last a, names. Armstrong. Last name. That was like a big guy. That was a big guy, yeah. Hold on. I, wonder, I bet he named himself. I'll be Armstrong. Like, come on, asshole. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's other one. Taylor. Um, there's, I know there's other ones. Bart, uh, Smith, Smith. Everything's like a... Oh, a Smith. A blacksmith. Blacksmith. Uh, what other kind of Smiths are there? Steel Smith. Steel. Steely Dan. Steel's the name. Steel, sure. Steely Dan, uh, Stormy Daniels. I feel All like right. Steel would be your name. Ooh, that's <laughs> not bad. With an A. <laughs> well, it's just you at the airport. The crest is you with like a, you know, a, a bag of Tylenol or whatever right, you steal. Right, right. Cliff Bar. Um, okay, so yeah. Wow. Three. So I, I three was like, grand. I, I got to think about it. And I really did think about it. Like, out of him bat. And I liked the jacket. I liked the fit. And I was like, ah, let me. And I went outside, texted Vicky, my sister in law. And she's like, you can't do that. That's insane. That's good for her. And she said, go to Paul Smith. She knows fashion. Paul she's Smith a fashion is sexy. person. And so I typed in Paul Smith on the Google Maps, three minute walk, oh, right around the corner. You're in the shopping district. So I went over there, nice lady over there. I tried on a jacket. It was like 280 pounds. Bought a t shirt. Still expensive, by the way. The t shirt was like 50. Yeah, Which is still crazy. Still under a hundo, at least. You're but in a two digit. And it had some stripes or something. You could feel, you feel the you do feel the difference. You feel I have the diff. Say. You buy a nice shirt, you can feel it. Same with a prostitute. So uh ended up going to Paul Smith, bought a shirt, bought a jacket, felt good, but Cuccinelli, Brunello Cuccinelli, and I guess I found out he's like a, a super designer. He's yeah. like a, a catwalk. Oh, on the catwalk. But this is for the people that make Millions of dollars. Sure, a t-shirt, sure. They don't give a fuck. They just go, yeah, give me a t-shirt. Pennies. Pennies. Spend a penny. Spend a penny. But here's the question. Now with the uh, the guinea with the uh, with the uh, with the suit. Mm-hmm. Angry at you when you flipped the script on him? Was he like, "Geez, I spent sixty minutes pulling your elbow"? I think he felt bad. I think he felt for me. I think he okay. was like, "Uh, yes, this guy's a pauper." Uh, yes, yeah, that's the way it is. And I was like, "I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I thought I was spending like hundred. And I, it's hard because you also want to like be like, I'm not like totally poor. Uh-huh. I could afford. I thought it was like five hundred, which to me is insane." Yeah, of course. But then you think, like, it, it's all perspective. In my mind, Pipes. I thought Ted Baker was, like, high end. I'm buying Ted Baker, yeah. so look out. And then, uh, that's a joke. That's a that's a crime compared to Puccinelli. Well, it's like, I, I think about wealth all the time. I hang out with Louie and I are close, and I just think, wow, you're rich. You're a rich person. That's yes. crazy. But 
he's rich at this le- at one level, but like oh. Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks are like he's a joke. He has uh, no yeah, money. And then wealth. there's like Bezos, who's yes. like Tom Hanks. Are I you know. kidding? Yeah, he's worried about Musk uh, nipping at his heels. Yeah. He's not worried about Tommy Hang. Exactly. So even like, well, there's le- so you know people that buy. $2,500 jackets. I, I can't even imagine what it's, they're making. It's still silly, though. I mean, I look, agree. If, if Bezos buys one, I get it. That's a drop in the anal. But uh, come on, $2,500. $280 for a T-shirt. You could go to China. T-shirt. Get get COVID or something. It's crazy. <laughs> any, yeah. any jizz. That's what, so let, let me talk about the Chinese tailor. Tell me about the Chinese well, tailor. Well, it's on... Waverly, you've walked by this guy a million times. He's an old Chinese guy. He's got wisdom. He's, you know, it's one of those places where you walk in and it's like, Ooh, you know, that, oh, that music yeah, is yeah. playing. And he's got the cat doing this. I love Eastern. Whatever that I don't is. care for the cat, but I like I like Eastern philosophy. The vibe, sure. good vibes good out vibe. east. There's a there's a pot with smoke coming out of it. It's it's a whole thing, and everything's oh, he's the Chinese guy. He's he's wise. He's got powers. Sure, smoke so, pot. Yeah, so I go there and uh, and I go. I'm doing tight show. I need a suit, and he goes. You came to the right place. Mm. Mm. He like floats, you know. He's, wow. He's he's, 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 a, he's a he's a being. This guy. He's an entity. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, he's 800 years old. You know, he's wearing a robe. He floats over to me, and he goes, "Okay," mm-hmm. and he like takes some chalk, and he puts this thing on me, and he goes, and he's got all these places where you make the cuts. Oh yeah, it's like surgery. Yes, it's surgery. He's surgical. It's a clinic, whatever that means. Yeah, he's hear that. A clinic. He put on a clinic. He put on a clinic, like a basketball guy. You well, know, I runs think, the room. Yeah, He's got to put on a clinic. A clinic. They teach you how to do things. Is that what I thought? A clinic was where you go with herpes. It's a health clinic. Yeah, I went to the clinic. I never got the clinic thing. Then this clinic. Ah, maybe it's Maybelline. Hmm. Mm, I think clinic means uh, a couple things. You know. Yeah. Okay. That always, it sounds cool. I put on a clinic. You're like, oh, he did. Yeah. But I, it, I think a clinic. I think chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> chlamydia. All right. So. The guy whoosh, 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 with the with the the chalk, and uh, I go, oh my god! And he goes, okay, what color? I go, all right. And he goes, whoosh, 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 whoosh. it was like two grand, and I mm. I go, oh my god! I didn't know that. And he goes, oh, this is how it works, you know. This this is high end shit here we're doing. He didn't say shit, but he twirled his big long mustache and he went like this, and then he goes, uh, yeah, it'll be two grand or whatever. And I go, I I I didn't know it was that much. And he goes. Oh, what are you doing in my store? You come in my store, oh, you waste geez. my time. You know how much time this is? I don't know why I'm giving him an Italian accent. But, uh, yeah, he, he was like, he was basically like, get, be gone, poof, oh, shoo. Yeah, it's hard. They don't have, they don't have the empathy. Because I'm like, you put a sign outside that says, like, hey, this is wicked expensive. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, it's crazy. Be careful. I know. I should have known with the when he floated over. I should have known this is over. But it's funny because I've also been insulted by that. I remember one time when I was in high school, I, there was a Bruce Springsteen book, and it was just, like, everything he had ever written. It was, like, this big and this thick. Yeah. And I went, I carried it up to the register, but I was, like, 11. Oh, and boy. the lady was like, you know, that's $50. I remember being like, yeah, I got money. I got Christmas money, you bitch. You're oh, fucking judging me. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, that's and adorable. And this guy, I wish he had been like, you know, everything in here is $4,000. Right. But then out of spite, I would have. It's weird. You want did, someone to say something, but if they do, you're upset. Yeah, I guess you got a point there. You're damned if you do. What Did you buy the book? Oh, I got the book. Ooh, you still got it? Oh, of course. Yeah. There you go. It was all gift cards. When you're a kid, you're just like, take this. Uh, yeah. or, or if you're at Chipotle, as <laughs> yeah, an adult. Yeah, the same way. Yeah. Like, Here you go. There's that. There's that. And then you give him four bucks, and you leave with your giant book. I had to drag it. Wow. That's cute. He's very prolific. Yeah, I picture you putting in a book bag, and the book bag hits the ground, and you're just <laughs> pulling the cement is <laughs> coming up. <laughs> Legs just fly yeah. up. Um, uh, all right. What else you got there, Fatty? Because we're in London town. Well, I got to tell you, I had, a, I had a nice cigar. So the first night, I didn't have any spots booked, and nobody was here in yeah. London and so I went for a walk at night a nice night London walk and right behind the hotel there's this big like festival going it's called the Underbelly Festival I it's saw in a big that. park and then there's like a almost like a tent it's like a little performance space mm. and I went over there I had uh, a dinner it was like a pizza folded up in a thing the guy barked me in Wow, you got barked. He said, hey, why don't you... Oh, it's a free sample. This is the first time this has ever happened in my life. Oh, he said, I love I got a free, free sample. sample. I've never taken a free sample. What? And then bought the thing. Oh, he got you. 
He got me with the sample. That's rare. And I've shoved samples up my ass at the, at oh, the, yeah. at the, at the clinic, <laughs> the STD <laughs> clinic. Sample sale. I mean, I'll take a sample, but I never took a sample Firm and sample. said, make me one of those. Yeah, we got you. What is it, calzone? Cal, it's basically a calzone. It's like when people pretend they invented something, but you're yeah. like, it's just a cheeseburger with, you know, shit on it. Whatever. <laughs> it's got bacon on it. Whoa, easy, big fella. I'm not ready for that shit. What are you, from the future? So I eat the calzone thing. I shove that in my ass. I've come all over my father's face. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> Nothing I'm, new there. I'm, I'm sitting there. It's a beautiful evening. And then I walk over because everyone's piling into the, the tent performance ah, the space. Tent. And so I walk over and I say, it's a beautiful lady. And I say, what's going on inside? Because when you see people inside somewhere, you want to see what's inside. It's like my mom's ass. It's, <laughs> it's like the Knot Hill gang. You want to not, not hole. Not hole. That's a knot hole. That's the kids that couldn't afford tickets to the baseball that watched through the knot hole oh. in the wood. The little kids, they would watch Babe Ruth, you know, and then they'd take a turn. Oh, we call that the glory hole, where I'm from. Well, whatever. Yeah. Splitting hairs. Pubes. (laughs) So, singeing. (laughs) So I walk up and I say, what's going on in there? Is there a show? What kind of show? And she said, it's it's Le Cirque. It's kind of, uh, there's some comedy and some acrobats Mm. and burlesque. Ooh. And I said, what's it all sold out? And she said, no, you go get a ticket over there. So then I walk over, and you know me, I can't make decisions, so I go, should I go? Should I try to, should I kill myself? Should I steam? Sure. And I, it, my body just took me to the box office, Good and I for said, the body. Take, well, I'll take one ticket, because I love a ticket. Yeah, I tickets always, I'm fun. I'm going concerts, sports, I just want a ticket. Well, ticket is good and bad. You got parking ticket, and then you got <laughs> concert ticket, right? I'm going, I'm going Seinfeld here. <laughs> I want a concert ticket. I like a ticket. Yeah. Parking ticket stinks. You see the Carlin doc? I haven't seen it yet. I've been out here, but I'm sure it's later. great. So I get the ticket, and I go right back over there, and I said, I, I did it. I bought the ticket, and I get, I sit down, and this is a show. The lights come down, and it's one of these swirly lights, like a circus. Yes, yes, circus. And it's just great. It's like there is a guy that climbs the pole and spins, it, like almost like Cirque du Soleil. He's hanging on by one arm. Acrobat. Then there was a unicycle guy who was, he looked like Mulaney, skinny ah. little white guy with glasses, and he did a crazy acrobat, like he put, he came out in his underwear and put pants on while still riding oh, the unicycle. Yeah. And he was like, I had a cracker he was throwing. Cracker. Then there was like a, a, a sexy burlesque woman in a bathtub. She was like kicking the, the soap suds. Was, and she, was she large? No, I mean, she had large breasts. Oh. She was, I would say she was like. Thick. She was petite. Yeah. A petite. She was sexy. Okay. Then there was an. Those burlesque can, they can run a little heavy. Oh, well, she was a they medium, I guess. They don't run. Then there was another burlesque lady. I think it was burlesque. She had a thing where she had like a, a long coat rack coat with rack. a hat and a jacket on it, okay. but it made it look like a, a guy. Ah. Like she had her one arm in the jacket, so it looked like she was dancing ah. with this guy. It was really clever and fun. A lonely lady. And then there was uh, all kinds of acrobats, and I, I watched the whole show, and I, I turned to a child. I mean, I was whistling and clapping and blown sure. away, and it just felt so fun and innocent and sweet. I love, and you're across the pond, you're in another land, you're alone. It, it can really swoop you into that. It was that, beautiful. It's frenzy. I was swooped. Great show, Le Cirque. I recommend they do comedy there Friday nights, but. Ooh, way. outdoor comedy's tough. So, no, no, it's in a thing. Oh, it's tented. It's built. It's like a wooden, it's almost like a wooden tent, if that makes sense. Wooden tent, like a gazebo? I suppose so, but it's indoor. It's enclosed. Ah, it's enclosed. It's like a little circus, whatever. It's a venue. Sure. Leave there, and I'm feeling high, because I went to the show, and it was great. I love a show. There yes. was jokes and juggling, and then they were on roller skates wow. spinning. Wow. Beautiful show. Great show. Highly recommend. Were you the oldest guy there? Was it for children? Well, I guess burlesque. No, no, no. It was adults. No, it was okay. like nudity. It, okay. was, it was all adults. I was very gay. I, was, I, I think it was more, I think I was one of the few straight people ah, there. Got it. But it was hot and fun and great, or maybe just my row. But anyways, it was beautiful, fun, highly recommend. Go check it out. Then I leave, and there's a cigar lounge uh-huh. place right across the street. Woo! This is like your night. And you can get Cubans. Whoa! And say, we're in Europe. So I got a Cuban. I'm sitting outside. Castro. And then there's this Dutchman there, and he... And, I think here it's much more standard to just be like, how you doing? We're sitting next to each other. Sure. Which, uh, you know, I'm opposed to until I'm in there. And then uh-huh. I'm like, this is nice. It is nice. There's a hump to get over, but once you're in it, you're in it. It's like a hot tub. We humped. So we, we just sat there, had a Cuban, and we talked about the neighborhood. And he's from uh, he's from the Netherlands. He married a, a Canadian woman, but he lives mm. in London now. And he used to live in uh, Atlanta. He used to go visit her, blah, blah, blah. Wonderful dialogue. Nice cigar. 
Great night. I love it. I love a Dutchman, too. The Flying Dutchman. And uh, did you tell him about you? You go, hey, I'm here for a TV show, you fat bitch. Hey, you're not the only one with a story. Well, it's not because he asked, and he said, what do you do? Which is always painful, because you don't want to say comedian. Uh, but he was pretty good about it. I said, I'm a comedian. And I, I brushed past the comedy. I said, we're doing this TV show. It's produced here in London by the guy that made Whose Line Is It Anyway? And then we started talking hey. about improv. And, and oh, So he smart. kept it. He didn't ask me to do bits or anything like Hallelujah. that. Hallelujah. Which was nice. Nice dialogue, nice convo, beautiful night. And then he said, okay, I'm taking off. And I said, great. And it was just delightful. I love the fact, too, that he met the right American. Because, you know, you talk to, you know, Big Joe from Cleveland, and it's a different guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he's like, oh, you, you, you watching the Indians? And the guy's like, I don't know the Indians. What are you right. talking about? Like, from India? What are you talking about? But he got the right, he got a sophisticated chap. It was nice. And uh, I told him about the suit, and we talked about all the suits. He told me about Vigo Street, how oh. it's all these tailors. And he said that all the doctors live over there. And he gave me a little bit of London history, which was nice. Not there history, but whatever. You know what I mean? Wow. Well, here we are. We're, we're, in, we're in the heart of it. And, uh... We got a show to do, and I'm terrified. Well, that's the other thing uh, I'll tell you about real quick here. We got to wrap up because we got to go get ready for rehearsal. Ah, they take all your time, these people. So we're doing this TV show. You guys will see it. It'll be out in a few months. You got to write all these jokes. It's all about jokes, and it's a panel show. And in, in England, that's what comedians do. It's panel shows. Ah. That's the ticket, and that's the thing. You get famous from being on panel shows. Sure. Equipment, we don't really have them. Nah, we got Tonight Show, but it's it's four minutes on a couch, and you don't even prepare. Yeah, it's not a panel. It's not like three people going, what do you think? Okay, I think this. Yeah. You do your stand-up, and then you go sit over there. I guess we don't. I guess we had At Midnight. That was a game show. I think Real Time is kind oh, of real time. like that, but it's more serious. It's not comedy, yeah. So they do this show called Mock the Week here. It's the same producers as that. So we're doing the show, and they're like, Mock the Week? Like, the week? <laughs> I'm joking. That just seems a little too close. Mock the week. It's like, hey, look at this weak bitch pussy over here. He can't even walk. I think it's like best week ever. Uh, but like in front of a crowd. Ever. Mock the week. And so uh, mock the steeple. What was that called again? Mop the hoople. Uh, mop the hoople. Yeah, you know, all the young dudes. Hey, dudes. That's a bad uh, band. Oh, that was lost on me. <laughs> um, so... They go, uh, they, we, we do the show, and we're, I'm talking to Luke, Monas, and Josh Johnson, American comedians. Yeah, funny guys, check them out. We write three or four comedians, three or four jokes for each thing. There's a guy named Reese James. Uh-oh. Killer. Uh-oh, he sounds like guy, a ringer. Glenn Moore. These guys are ringers. I, I, we felt embarrassed. The Brits killed us. They had 20 jokes for everything. Oh, I'm screwed. They were murdering. I didn't do nearly enough prep. I felt like a deer in headlights. Oh, or worse, terrified. I felt like a deer with headlights. Ooh, I, I was just, bad. I just, Dicks. I was dying. Dick not on. Yeah, <laughs> Dick a masala. I but, mean, I was oh, dying God. up there. I had to literally on TV in front of a live audience say, I don't have any more jokes. Oh, but don't they, they wait for you to buzz, right? No buzz. No buzz? No, you just walk up. I did, I did stand up. That went well. But I mean, these guys, they kept coming. I'm telling you, the machines, these Brits. Ah. And to them, this is their big opportunity. This is right. American TV. Oh, God, I should be studying. I should I was be writing. Humiliated. Humil I felt I felt like I signed up for an honors class in high school yeah. and by accident. And I was like, I, 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 I can't do this. Oh, my Lord. So do they, do they go, you go. You go. They just point to you, and you have to say something. No. Well, some some are like that, and some are you just pipe in. I was just sitting there silently, and I, I think I got a learning disability between you and I. I was trying to read the. Th I missed like three categories. I was like, I didn't even know we were doing this. They're like, it's in the paper, and I'm like, I my brain is Whoa. mush. Oh, I can't boy. focus. Oh well, it's 17 years of uh, heavy whiskey. Uh, I, I ruined. I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. Your brain's pickled. I have real insecurities about my intelligence. I'm like, well, I can't read a thing. You're a smart son of an onion, but it's it's the uh, the instructions. Instructions. That get you. I can't handle the the take home. COVID test? I threw oh, a fit. I oh. screamed at my wife. I was like, you gotta read this. I can't read it. It takes a weird focus, and that focus is a real cum stain. I can't do it, but the show, we'll talk more about the show on another episode because we're yeah. shooting together tomorrow. Yeah, next time you hear from us, I'll probably have my slip my wrist uh, from the show. Go with the vein. Down. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. 
Ah, I've been going cross. Yeah, that's why you're still here. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> I'm happy to help. Yeah, Joe, you're a good friend. So, all right, we got to wrap it up. I, 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 we got to thank uh, 21 Soho. I didn't even yes. talk about 21 Soho. Oh, and Top Secret. I did a show. Oh my, we had so much more to talk about. Stay tuned. Next episode. I did a show here at 21 Soho. We got to say uh, heads up, high five. Thank you to 21 Mazel Soho. Tov. Did a show Thursday. Luke Monas came and opened. 200 people Woo! packed. Packed with Tuesdays. It was amazing. Wouldn't you say London crowds are good? Great crowds. Great crowds. Love I London. Agree. I mean, a line out the door. It, it, it was surreal. The gays. It was amazing. Thank you. Everybody was saying it's all pipes. We love the oh. show. So thank you all. People couldn't make it. I've never had that happen. Wow. People were like, I couldn't get a ticket. So Ooh, next that's time. nice. Very yeah. exciting. Even wanting more. Great show. And then they... they, they, they Glenmore. Uh, what's that word? They commoderated us? Uh, let us be here? What's that word? Uh, it's up to the C. C. You sure it's a C? I think it's Accommodated. A C. Accommodated. Uh, I know there's a C. There's a C in there. They Two of them. Accommodated us last minute, so shout out to 21 Soho. Great venue. Support this place. Mark's Thank here you, tonight. Gents. You'll hear this a week I later. I think I'm here tonight. Yeah, you'll hear it a week later. But anyways, that was amazing. We're here now. Recorded. Last minute. We got to go to rehearsal. We have to go uh, shower and go to rehearsal. It never ends. Big gig, San Francisco, June 9th to the 11th at the Punchline. Please, I spent all my money on the flight. Come to the show. It's <laughs> a great Gavin. show. New hour, Vancouver, June 12th. Uh, uh, Toronto, July 29th. June's a big month. I got Atlanta, June 24th, 25th, the Punchline. Hot Atlanta. Uh, May 30th, Tacoma. That's, I think, tonight. Or maybe it was last night. Fuck. <laughs> I think it was last night. I don't know what's what. I can't. I don't even know what month it is anymore. It's all up in the air. Baltimore, Magoobies in June. I'll be there. And uh, San Francisco, Magoobies, Atlanta, June. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And the movie's coming out. Oh, soon. So am I. All right, we got. Uh, I'm in Baltimore as well. I'm in. I'm doing a big run. The, uh, theaters with Portland, Seattle, Vancouver, Toronto. And uh, some other stuff. MarkNormanComedy.com on the fully loaded tour with Bert. We're doing Red Rocks again. It's going to be insane. Shane Gillis, Nikki Glazer, Fortune Feimster, David Tell, Joey Diaz. I mean, it's just a wow. banger of a tour Whoa. or a whatever you call it, a festival. And, uh, yeah, I'm all over the West Palm Beach, Cleveland, Chicago, you name it. Minneapolis, Pantages Theater. Let's sell these puppies out. Say hello. Buy a shirt. Give me a hug and a noogie. And uh, it's all pipes. That'll do it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you having us. Mazel, queef, jizz, semen. Put it in my ass. Woo!